Hi, this is Leslie Langnaw, Managing Editor at Design World Magazine, and we are here at the IMTS show. And today I'm here with Sean Neller from BNR, and he's telling me a little bit about the System Diagnostics Manager. So, continue. So, um, one of the things we have encountered is that our customers very rarely um, very rarely do the diagnostic software in their, in their machines. Quite often, they leave that to the last moment. They don't install the software into the, into the machines before the machines ship. It costs them a lot of money then in, in going out to the site and working with the customers. So we have developed our own diagnostic system inside the control system. It can be enabled simply by checking a mark in the, um, in the software. Okay. Uh, it works as a web-based server. And if you're working with something like an iPad or a Windows 8 a tablet or a computer smartphone. at home, smartphone as well, obviously it, uh, it does um, scale back to graphics, so it will scale automatically to the screen you're using, okay. which really makes nice. it very nice and so you can see it and always sees it well. It's a generic screen, but it shows you information on what is going on on the controller at any one time. This startup screen, which is the first screen you see, has a function called system dump. When you press this system dump button, it allows you to dump to a USB stick or oh, onto okay. the hard drive or something on, on whatever you're connected to. Then that zip file can be sent to someone who has the programming software, they can unzip that, and that contains traces and logbooks and information on the hardware and information on how the whole system run is running. Okay. So you can get full diagnostic information, including things like uh, motion control, you can see the axes on, on this system, which will show you what's happening on each of the axes. Excellent. You can get traces from the axes. You can get um, error information from the axes. You can see the I.O. on the system. It will show you all the parts of the I.O. that are working in the system at the moment. And if there's any I.O. missing, it will show you a little red X or an exclamation mark, depending on the error. And then it will tell you module not functioning, module missing, or incorrect module placed into the I.O. configuration. Okay. So this is a generic system which is it comes into the system automatically. It's not something that has to be developed. On the control system, we also have exactly the same screens. But the screens on the control system aren't, uh, we're, we're using an operating system that doesn't support scale vector graphics at okay. the moment. Okay. So the control system, you can still put these diagnostic screens with the same information, very useful information, in your control system as well. All the customer has to do is create a page that it goes to, turn the page on, select the system diagnostics manager, and then they will have all these diagnostic screens they can move around just by touching the screen. Once again, you can dump to a USB. All of our devices have USB ports on them, so you can dump the information to a USB, mm -hmm. then email that to someone who's got the programming software. Now, do you recommend that people do diagnostics on a periodic basis, or just whenever something is amiss? Generally, people on the machines aren't going to do much diagnostics. You'll be yeah. talking, you're talking about more like um, scheduled maintenance or something like that. We have scheduled maintenance systems. Okay. We also have um, condition monitoring systems, which monitor the bearings and can monitor bearings, and they would be more on a scheduled maintenance basis. So this, this is this more of a one-use type of a thing? This is problem with the machine, how are we okay. going to diagnose and fix the problem, okay. get the machine up and running, how are we going to minimize the downtime of the machine. Okay. So this is what this is for. But once again, our customers rarely go to this much detail. Mm -hmm. They might put up a, a log screen with some error alarms, but then right. they'll just say I.O. wrong or something wrong with the I.O. and then you have to go and dig deeper. This digs deeper for you and gives you all that information. But imagine it saves time. For saves example, if it's an I.O., it tells them which one. Exactly. And they can go and exactly. swap it out or whatever they It even will show do. you the I.O. points as well, what the, what, what, ones, what the points are doing as well. So you can even do down to the bit bit diagnostics on the on the okay. IO points as well. So right. It's a very clever product. Nice. And very nice. useful. Is there an, another key feature about this manager that we need to know about? Um, you know, um, it, it does give you, um, um, this could also be built into your own web pages. So there okay. is a web server built on the controller. So you could create your own web pages around this and then just call this as part of a web, a web page you already have. Mm -hmm. So you could have some other diagnostic information from the machine and then this could just be still a part of that. In fact, you could create your own whole visualization as an HTML script, and we have HTML libraries in our, in our controllers, which allow you to create visualization using HTML, 
and then you could then incorporate this in in the system so everything could be html based so at 3 a.m in the morning if somebody gets a call he can go to his smart device take a look yeah he could be down do the bar and he could have his phone <laughs> he could be looking at the bar and say hey oh yeah the machine's dead <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah, that's it. I'll call them and I'll tell them exactly what, what they got to sort out. Meanwhile, he finishes his beer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it, it, it's so often forgotten and overlooked. And lots of their calls come in are about, about diagnostics and how to diagnose problems. So we've given people the tool to help us out and to help them. Makes it simple and easy for them. Easy for our customers to implement, yeah. Excellent. So that's all we've done. Great, thank you. Thank you. And that's the report from BNR at IMTS.